here with Mark Two Shot Johnson. Of course, everybody knows International Hall of Boxing Hall of Famer. And also, you got a special fighter with you here. Just signed with Golden Boy, Cornell Hines. How you doing? I'm doing great. You got this workout in. Feeling good. So now you got two fights under your belt. Right. You know you're a step above a lot of fighters in this area. Right. With signing with Golden Boy, how how you feel about that? I feel great. I just you know like I told you earlier. I went out of town, they said a lot of fighters, you know, get knocked off from here when we get to the uh, top. I just want to prove them wrong. I want to be the one that they can say, you know, stand out. Kind of like how uh, Joe heard them. Yeah. So you saying when you go out of town, people do talk about the fighters in this town and the type of progression they've made and, and they get to a, t a, a stopping point, basically. Right. And you, like, and you, and you say you don't want to do that. Right. Because uh, like a lot of people get a, a lot of recognition, you know, like, as soon as I went to the Mayweather gym, they said, oh, you must know how to fight. You from D.C. But then, you know, they was talking about how uh, a lot of guys get up there and then, you know, they don't perform as good as they did, you know, like in the amateurs. So I just want to show them that D.C. does have, have some of the best fighters. And, Mark, what, what you have to add to all this with all the experience you have? You know, you got you got all the experience, basically. Uh, well, you know, the main thing is, um, you know, uh, especially for me, uh, being on the other side now, you know, training and managing. Um, of course, it's something different for me, but, um, you know, I think I got a good guy. I got a guy that's uh, responsible, a guy that's hungry, a guy that's ready to grow. Um, and, uh, he also seen my ups and my downs, so uh, I want to make sure he do the rights and the rights and not the wrongs and the left. And before we go on with the continue with Cornell, you have one, one, another fighter. He just fought in North of Virginia. Tell us about him. Oh, yeah, well, I got Deontay Burks. Um, he's like 135. He's 2-0 and now. He's from Washington, D.C.? From Washington, D.C., Southpaw. Uh, you know, I'm born and raised in D.C., and, uh, you know, like Cornell said, we're going to show these guys that uh, not only do we have some of the greatest fighters, but we got some of the best fighters. But um, a lot of things is that uh, Cornell got a break. Uh, Cornell got a break that a lot of guys normally wouldn't get, um, not just because of me, but also because of his dedication and, and how he worked. But also, once again, um, you know, to be a guy that's 2-0, uh, to be able to be signed with uh, Golden Boy, now it's up to him to uh, to prove himself. And, and tell us, how did that happen anyway with Golden Boy? Well, you know, I was uh, I was always talking to everybody about both of the guys. I talked to uh, Top Rank, uh, Jay Prince, uh, Tony Leonard, uh, and tons and tons of guys. And uh, and uh, one guy that always stood out was uh, Malik uh, Bernard, partner from Golden Boy. And Malik stayed with me, stayed with me. We talked every time. And, uh, John Russell kept us in touch, kept us in touch. And then, uh, you know, one day he called and said, well, Mark, I sent you the paper. What paper? We ready to sign Cornell. What? Hmm? I said, like, hold up. You know, so then, um, you know, we had some stuff that we had to clear up. I had to clear up some things with Cornell, get some stuff together. And, uh, hey, now he signed. Uh, he ready to fight. Uh, he'll be fighting his uh, next fight in May. Uh, right now, uh, it's kind of up in the air, but I think we know where it's going to be at. If Gary Russell will defend that title against uh, JoJo Dance here at the MGM, then, you know, hey, this will be a blockbuster for him to come out. This will be a great show to come out. And with knowing all the information, how did you feel when you got that call to find out that Golden Boy was interested in you and actually wanted to sign you? I was happy, you know, uh, as far as Instagram and social media, I put a lot of money into it as far as promoting myself. You know, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the uh, signing your page into a business page. You can put about like $20, $20 into your account and you will be broadcasted to about 10,000 people. So me, I was putting about $50, $50 each post, you know, getting broadcasted by 80,000 people at times, you know. So like, and then I, you can pick the targeted areas, such as like, I was putting Philly, Texas, all over the world where I knew that boxing was important. So I'm just happy to know that everything paying off. So it sounds like you got the business part, you kind of understand how it works and put, to put yourself out there. The biggest thing in boxing right now is creating a name for yourself. And that's what keeps you busy in this sport. So how do you plan on doing that? By the same thing I was kind of doing, promoting, uh, following Mark, the Golden Boy lead. Um, just staying focused, staying active, staying humble. And, and Mark, what's, what's some of the stuff that you actually told him about this sport that he has to look out for? Well, the main thing you got to look out for, most importantly, is uh, the weight. Uh, that's what that's what kills a lot of fighters. A lot of fighters lose on the scale. Um, and as long as he's maintaining his weight, staying in the gym, staying focused, and that's how it is. Even you in the gym every day now, you don't have a date. 
You know, you've been in the gym for the last two, three months, you didn't have a day. Now, now I need you in the gym every day like we do. Boxing, moving every day, because guess what, hey, you never know when that call is going to be called. And what I want him to understand is this, you stay ready, you stop having to get ready. So that way, when, when they feel like they think they can beat you, it may be a late notice fight or whatever, and you say, Mark, can you make this way, or can you take this fight? We ready to go. So I make sure Cornell, as well as uh, Tate Burch, both of them stay in tip-top shape. I got a lot of guys over here, a lot of amateurs they working with, a lot of pros. And um, you know, like I said, we got a lot of stuff uh, that's on top of me, um, especially my man, the Enos and them, uh, Enos Wall and Boots and them, we're well, going to start doing some working with them. Uh, we're going to start working with the guy, uh, Cabrera, who did the Olympics uh, from Philadelphia. So we got a lot of stuff that, that we get ready to do. Uh, and uh, the guy McGriff and all those guys, uh, uh, once Cornell got signed, they was like, Mark, I ain't know you was going to sign. And I said, well, I sent them out to, to, to Mayweather Gym so y'all can look at them when I wasn't with them. And then y'all let them go. So, hey, it's business. Mm -hmm. It's time to move forward. It's business. And, hey, guess what? It's just one. I'll tell you this, too. And I guarantee you, once people understand that, guess what? Mark Johnson, not only is a, a great fighter, a Hall of Fame fighter, once they understand to see my work in the corner with different people, they understand that I'm one of the best trainers in the world, too. But guess what? Timing is everything. And it's not my time yet. And it's when, my, when it's my time to shine, believe me, I'm going to shine. There you have it. Mark Tushop Johnson, International Boxing Hall of Famer, along with his fighter, Cornell Hines. 2-0, two, two knockouts. And there you go. Look forward to much happening for him. Golden Boy Promotions. Look forward to those dates on Boxing Law on the Beltway and Pro-Am Fight Talk.